Hi, my name is Teresa Kovlak, and I have been working on some saltwater fish. And I just fell in love with this little puffer. So I kind of been playing with him and experimenting. On this one here, I made him colorful. Now this painting isn't done, but it's just to show you what I've been playing with. And then this one here, he's not quite done either, but like I said, I'm just kind of experimenting with them, but I'm having lots of fun and I thought I'd show you how. So what we're going to do is we are going to paint on this one here. I have already started this last night. And if you'd like to see how to paint the background, I'll leave a link below. I have a couple of other saltwater videos and one is the background in the ocean floor. So what I'm painting on is the craft plastic. You can also paint this on a tile or Yupo. Uh, Yupo doesn't work quite as nice because it's a little harder to pull out the inks, but it will work. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put our little guy in here. And if you have an alcohol blending pen, you can pull out the ink with that. If you don't, a Q-tip works, or even using a paintbrush will work. So first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to make our circle and get our little puffer fish going. So we'll put him, I think I want him to be my main fish. So we're just making a circle. And I'm taking and pulling that ink out. And when I pull the ink out, I wipe off the excess on my paper towel. And because I want it to be a circle, I'm going to turn it around just so I have a little more of that tip of the blending pen to pull it out. And I don't know, maybe we should make them a little bit bigger. So it's up to you. You can do them smaller, little. You can do even a tiny one or a big giant one. So just a fun fact about puffers, there's over 120 different species and actually 30 of them uh, live in freshwater. So that's kind of a fun fact. I used to have a saltwater fish tank, and I am definitely a fan. I actually had three different tanks going before I moved, and I missed them. I haven't set them back up. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and we're dipping into our alcohol. I keep my 99% alcohol in my little bowl. It's off to the side here, and I have my colors laid out. So for my background, I used mermaid, pool, and sailboat blue. That did my basic background. And then for my rocky formation, I went ahead and I used some crimson, a little bit of wild plum, and I just kind of dabbed it on. So if you haven't seen how I make my rocks, like I said, check out those other videos and they will be down below. So again, we're just going to dip into some of that amethyst. And we're just going to put some down here. I do have quite a bit of 99% alcohol on. And it is going to spread my circle a teeny tiny bit. But not too much. We'll go ahead and grab a little bit of that wild plum. Put a little more of that amethyst in. I just wanted a little richer color. I'm going to go ahead and put a little flamingo up on top. 
I like those colors together. I just have a little bit of that 99% alcohol on my brush. Just because I wanted those colors to kind of dry together at the same time is why I did that. And now we'll go ahead and go ahead and put in those fins. I'm going to put them right about here. And I'm going to go ahead and turn my page. And a good way to think about putting in his fins, it's kind of like those little candies. You ever see those candies that have the plastic? Well, that's what it's kind of like. He has little candy wrappers on him. I'm just grabbing a little bit of that wild plum. Just kind of painting loose. And I'm going to figure out where I want his eyes. I'm going to grab a little smaller brush. Come in, I'm going to grab a little bit of that alcohol, put it on my yellow. That's the dandelion yellow. Touch on my paper towel, make sure I don't have too much. And we'll give him an eye here and one about right here and we'll do his mouth about right here so again you don't want too much alcohol on because it can spread too fast so just a teeny tiny bit on your brush then what we're gonna do is he needs some little pokies on him, so we'll go ahead and do those. What I'm using is a Q-tip. I just peeled the end off. It has just a little bit of tiny fuzzies on it. I took it and just dipped it in the alcohol, twisted it in my fingers, and I'm going to push the ink away from the fish. And the reason is, is I want it thicker at the fish, but thinner when it goes out towards the water. So I'm just take and pull it out whoops and that one's kind of crooked but that's okay I'm gonna pull this paper towel off I was having that there so you wouldn't see all this ink but we're painting a painting right so there should be ink there so we'll just keep pulling those out And you don't want them too close together, not too far apart. Again, it's your painting. And if you want yours all close, you can do that. But I want a little bit of space in between mine. I'm still using the same Q-tip. And I'm just trying to space it so you can see here there's a space in between and then I'm doing the little one here in between it so I don't want it so it's directly behind it so stagger them out a little wet down my q-tip again and I rolled it on my paper towel make sure it is not too wet And I'll go ahead and keep pulling those. And sometimes you got to pull two or three times just because we don't have a lot of alcohol on our Q tip, nor do we want a lot of alcohol just because. We don't want our painting to run away. So again, I wet it down my Q-tip in the alcohol. So 
So in my fish tank, I had a dog face puffer. It's kind of interesting looking. He was a nice little guy. I think one of my most interesting fish was probably my lionfish. So when I moved, I had tore down my fish tanks and took my fish back to the pet shop and sold them back. And maybe one day soon, I'll set me up a, another fish tank. So they do take a little bit of time, the salt water, the salt water tanks that is. So I always keep my black in a separate container. This here is actually an antique salt dish that I'm using. And I'm just going to tap on my paper towel because I don't want too much black. I don't want too much alcohol so it runs away. I'm just going to kind of put some big O circles in there. Now if you want, you can do them smaller. My other painting, they're, they are smaller. But I want them just kind of looking at me. I'm going to give him a funny face on his mouth. How about that? Maybe kind of a smile. It's kind of funny. Puffers naturally look like they're kind of smiling. It's kind of fun. You know, it's fun to have fun. Fun to have painting whatever you want and do whatever color you want. So if you want them to look more natural, go with the greens and browns. But I thought he'd be fun doing them some different colors. So now what we're going to do is just kind of pull out a little bit of that black, just a tiny bit. So we can have a white little accent there. And I'm just taking the end of my Q-tip. And just pulling a tiny bit out. Because with the inks it's a lot easier to pull it out. Than when you're putting it in to try to leave a little white spot. And I think I pulled too much out of that one, so I'm going to just add a tiny bit of black. Just go ahead and touch off on our paper towel, make sure we don't have too much black. And then of course I pulled out a little too much, so I'm just going to use my paintbrush this time since it's still good and wet. I'm just going to pull out a tiny bit. There we go. Well, I think he's pretty fun. What do you think? You like him or not? So. You can keep working on your painting. You can add more puffers. Another thing you can do is add some little air bubbles on your puffer. And a good way to add air bubbles, because we do want a circle, we take our Q-tip, I peeled a little bit of the end off, tap it on the paper towel, And then we're just taking a little bit of that ink out. And if you don't want the air bubbles, you don't have to do, do them. And if your air bubbles get a little carried away, you can always grab a little bit of the ink. Come back over to it. Paint a little bit in. 
and then put a little shadow on it. Just kind of like a little highlight. Now when using the brushes, a lot of times the alcohol will want to collect at the tip. Watch that it doesn't drip down onto your painting. That's why I work on a paper towel. It works real well. That's why I work on a paper towel. It works real well. And that little air bubble is giving me a hard time. Grab a little more of that color. I kind of like that. So again, if this video was helpful to you, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That lets me know that you'd like to see me keep making videos. And I'm just going to keep going along at this painting, but I'm going to let you get out your inks and start your own painting. So again, my name is Teresa Koblack. You can see more of my work on Facebook or Instagram. And um, I'm happy I have you along. So these were the other paintings that I had done. Now on this one, you can see I did come in with some colors and I highlight it a little bit on him. So I might do that on him. I haven't decided yet. So let me go ahead and put down a paper towel. You can see our painting we did today. And you have a great rest of your day. Happy painting.